Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, I hope all is well. Today we are talking about when clients say, your price is too high. That discourages so many notaries. I hear that all day long. Kimmy, people are saying my prices are too high. I don't know what to do. I'm sick of this. I can't get no business. So I want to talk to you today about how to handle it when they say your price is too high. Is it going to happen? Oh, yeah. They're going to say it. They say it to me. <laughs> they say it to everybody. That's too high. Don't you say it to other people? I'm like, woo, that's high. I called somebody. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was recently. And I was like, good night. I know it was something with my taxes. And I got a couple of quotes on something. And I was like, really? They were like, yeah. You know, and I said, okay. So for me, that was just too much. So what happens though when people say your price is too high? I don't want you to get discouraged and give up on yourself or your business. So we're going to talk about it today. Okay. So the first thing you can do is affirm that they're correct. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't want to say, yeah, my price is too high, but you can show compassion. And that just sounds something like, yeah, I can understand, you know, how you may think that, you know, and not being sarcastic. Yes. Yeah, high, not what? We do not do that over here, right? Right? No, we don't. But yeah, I can understand how you could think that. And then give a short explanation as to why the pricing may be what they think is high. By the time you start asking your screening questions, and if you're asking your screening questions, how many documents do you have? How far must I travel? Am I going to a hospital? Am I going to a nursing home? If you don't know how to start your business, period, check out my book, uh, Start Your Notary Business. It's not that complicated. Check out that book. And I also have a pricing book. So check out the pricing book, okay? Pricing your notary services. It's not that complicated. And I do a deep dive into every aspect of notary, how to price your services. Not the actual number, but I, I need you to reason it because every situation is going to be different. That's why I could not put an exact number in the book if you're in california you can charge different than i can here in georgia okay hey notary fam it's kimmy i am here to let you know just in case you have not heard about the notary business coaching success program we meet weekly we talk about your notarial duties how to do an acknowledgement how to do a giraffe how to administer an oath everything you've been asking for and guess what else is included unlimited access to all of my trainings that will also include ink fingerprinting, trust slash estate documents. Learn how to properly execute a trust. Don't forget, we also have the private community. Like-minded notaries who have been trained by me. Check out my book that I've written for each state, how to start your notary business in Alabama, California. You get the point. Wherever you're located, there's a book for your state. Well, hopefully I'll see you soon over in training, Notary Educators, LLC. We got you covered. Bye. Um, if you're in another state, you're in Alabama, you can also may not be able to charge as much as somebody out in Nevada. You know, everybody's state fee is so different. However, the book gives you a lot of things to think about when it comes to pricing, okay? So let's get back to it. So give a short explanation though to the client. And that just sounds something like, yes, ma'am, I can understand how you could think that price is high. However, I will be traveling um, in half hour this way, half hour that way. And you have so many documents and then we have to get witnesses. So by the time you do a little explaining, they usually will come around and understand. And if they just do not understand, that's okay too. Let them know they are welcome to go somewhere else. I even offer... I can tell usually the first couple minutes the, the person over the phone, that's why I'm big on body language and tone when you're talking to people, you can tell who your client is going to be. They And they may end up calling you back. <laughs> but I will always let them know to something to the effect. Well, you know what? Have you tried your bank, Mr. Smith? Your bank may do it for you for free. Now, sometimes I already know what kind of document it is. The bank ain't going to do it for free. But to keep peace, to let the client know I do care, which I do care, you know, if they choose me or not. But just, you know, fully transparent, I always say, you can try your bank. If they won't do it, then it'd be my pleasure to help you. Or if they're calling on the weekend and my price is slightly higher or whatever, or holiday, I'll just let them know that too. Well, you know, due to being after hours, I do charge a little bit more, you know, if you come during regular business hours. 
or if they travel to me or if I travel to them or we meet closer. And that's another way to get your price down for your client sometimes. Your client may need you to come an hour away. Well, you don't feel like going an hour away, but you might can meet them at a halfway point and charge less, you know, or you might have a mobile office at the post office or something closer to you where you don't mind traveling to it, okay? So these are just a few tips, again, on when they say your price is too high, you know, and again, you want to adjust the firm, kind of not being sarcastic, but yes, I can see how you can feel that way. Explain. I'm so sorry, but do to dot, 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 okay? And then again, give them the option. Make them feel okay that, hey, I don't care if you come or not. Now, we're not saying that, but we want them to, we don't want them to feel pressure or obligated. So that just sounds something like, well, Mr. Smith, again, go check your bank. If they won't do it for you, it'll be my pleasure. And a lot of times they will call you back because they just want to make sure that they're not being price gouged. They're a regular client just like you are. They want to make sure that you care about them and it's not just transactional. People do want, even though it's just a notary and at the end of the day, they really don't care who you are. <laughs> they don't care nothing about me. They don't care nothing about you. They just need that paper stamp. But again just let them feel and be sincere be sincere i'm always about being authentic okay and at the end of the day if you still are just unsure how to price check out my book pricing your notary services is not that complicated over at notaryeducators llc.com okay until next time guys bye